Let's think of a situation here. We've got Sketchup open, and I'm going to get rid of the man. Camera, top view, and I'm going to create a maze. And I've got no idea what it's going to look like, but I'm going to go for it. So I take the pen out, and I'm going to create a path. And you can imagine this being as complex a path as you like. Let's go into that bit, make it a bit more straight. And for this example, I have no idea about size and scale. I'm just drawing. So let's just go do some more lines. You get the picture. I can carry on for a long time. So there we have the basic outline of some kind of strange maze. Now, at the moment, I can't do anything with that because it's just a few lines. I want to make that into walls so I can extrude them up. So what do I do? Well, I could get this pen and I could take that and try and draw along everywhere else. Um, that would work. It would take a long time though, and I haven't got the time to be bothered with that. So there's a tool which you can use which, um, judged by how close done some of these walls, can be interesting. Um, actually, I'm going to fix this. Take that wall, move. Let's move that one there. It's a bit more likely um, it's going to work now. So let's um, select my path. There's this tool here on the side called Offset, and this is a great tool to use in this kind of situation, or a few more simpler ones I'll show you in a second. So click on here. We've already selected the path. So all we've got to do, click on the wall, and as we drag out, you can see that it makes a copy of the lines. And we can actually see where these lines overlap and where they don't. So there, if it's that thin, we can get away with it's overlapping. We can take it this side, and more overlaps. I'm gonna go there. It's a very thin wall, but that's okay. So right now, we still can't extrude anything because it's just two lines. They're just offset from one another. You look at the corners, it's worked nicely. But we've got a start point, so take the pen tool and close that up. Let the start point, and let's close that up. And suddenly, we've got a solid shape, which we can see there, and we can orbit around. Now, let's turn this into a wall. Very simply, we know what to do. Take the uh, pull, push-pull tool and pull up. And there, we have made a complex maze very easily just by drawing a line and then using the offset. So when would you use this when you're not making a maze? Well, it's loose, lots of situations. Let's say we want to do a cylinder going up. Um, Actually, let's think of a better situation. We want to make a display cabinet. And this is going to be metal at the bottom and glass at the top. Let's just start again with this by deleting that. So I'm going to take the circle tool and just draw something. I don't actually know how big that is. And there we have it. We've got a um, base. Now we want to have our glass part on top. So we can just take our circle. I don't even need to do that. We can just select the outer ring of that, press the offset tool, select the edge, and just move it in. And you see it's drawing a line for us. I want to have it about, let's say that. Take this and now this way we should get more complex things. I'm gonna actually do it again. Select this one. Let's do that. There we go. So my camera's gonna look like that. Right now it's not very glass-like, so I'm gonna fix that. So select everything with a drop-down. Cover uh, metal. Let's go for, that's nice and metal-like. That's not very good for translucent stuff though. So we go for translucent. Select, drop, select, drop, go for the top there. 
Okay. So we have now quite some interesting opacity. Let's trigger that to a higher level of opacity. Okay. So there we have it. We've made a little cabinet. And we can maybe make it better by just moving that um, inner skin so we can actually um, see through. It is cheating a bit, but never mind. So there we have it. We've used the offset tool to create something like this. We can then go and drop an item inside it, use it as a display. Um, so anytime you want to make a line next to another one without redrawing it, then the offset tool's there. And as the main show, the more complex it is, the more powerful this tool is. So it's great to use for making something like a pop-up store.